myths, entertaining for some, intriguing for others. Almost everyone can relate to them. Wales itself is a country of myth and legend. Steeped in history, its lush green fields and mountains hide a mysterious and faded past. These stories provide an eternal link to the land of our ancestors, a rope which connects us to those who have gone before us, our myth in the modern day. I'm Leighton Owen, and I'm going to draw you deeper into that distant past as we find out about the story of Gellert. Have you heard of the story of Gellert? Yes. No. I certainly have, and I've been to his grave, and it's a wonderful story, and what a brave dog he was, you know, an example to every one of us. No. <laughs> Sorry. Haven't heard of it all? No. No. Do you know about the story of Gellert? I do indeed. So what do you know about the story of Gellert? The same as everybody else, I suppose. A wolf um, supposedly took a child, and the dog was blamed for it and uh, the dog got killed, unfortunately, but it was actually a wolf that took the child. Not everyone that we asked knew where the story of Gellert started. Well, it's believed to have been started right here at the Royal Goat Hotel. Hello, Victor. How long have you lived in the village of Perth, Gellert? As the advice, all my life, as the advice. So you've worked in the Royal Goat Hotel? I do have a degree, I'm a... Do I have a degree, I'm a recovered. So what do you know about David Pritchard? Well, my dear, the whole story, I'm a key, Gellert. Of course, do I miss half a year, so the whole story, I'm a key and weird, and I have two of us, so I'm a key and be one in a rat down. Ac wrth gwrs o'r gwneud gwneud hela ac yn hela. Dyn mae Mr. Pritchard wedi cymryd mantais o hyn a gwneud stori i gael pobl i mewn i'r pintra i'r hotel. How important is the story of Gellert to you individually? Bwysig iawn i mi ac wrth gwrs mae'n bwysig i'r pintra er mwy na tourism. Dyna di'r men gwaith sy'n y pintra a di pobl i'n wedi mae aros a gwaith i'r pobl lleol. However astonishing it may seem, it doesn't really surprise me that was how the story began. And this, this is where the story of Gareth ends. Although the story may be fictional, it draws so many people into the area. And of course, legends are believed to have been started by the simple word of mouth, and then they're carried on and evolved through time. And it's not just Wales that is the only place for myths and legends, it's all around the world that legends, myths, stories, and culture allow tourism to flourish. In Scotland, they believe in the Loch Ness Monster. But apart from some blurry pictures and supposed testimony, where is she? In Ireland, they believe in leprechauns. And they also believe in a pot of gold over the rainbow. But I don't think anyone's found that pot of gold or seen a leprechaun. In America, they believe in Bigfoot, and they're still on the hunt for Bigfoot. But he hasn't been seen in quite some time. So where is Bigfoot? Whilst here, in Wales, we believe in the Welsh dragon, or Dragoch. We believe in the stories of King Arthur. Wales isn't short of its fairy tales, myths and legends. Beth Gallup relies on tourism. It's not the most ideally placed village, it's in the middle of Snowdonia. But I'm going to ask some business owners why it's such a popular village and see if the story of Gellert has had a big impact on it. The story of Gellert, obviously, um, yeah. you make up your own minds whether you believe it or not. Yes. Yeah. Um, but the legend itself is, is very famous worldwide. Uh, of course, we get a lot of people come because of the legend. It's educational because we do get a lot of school parties yes. come just to see the story. And that in itself brings tourism because at a later life, um, young people like you come back to the village yes. Yes. after being here as youngsters. Uh, and then you can appreciate the mountains and do the walks as well, on top of looking at the grave again. It's a very pretty little village, and yeah. I'm sure people would visit, but it's, it's an added... I mean, there are lots of people who trape down the river to look at the grave. It's a really part of their it's visit. A bonus. Yeah, their visit to Beth Gellert. Um, and they're intrigued by the story, and there are schools that do projects, and yeah. so the kids will come traipsing in, and uh, they want to 
buy something and not they go down to the grove, certainly. Most days during the season, people will come in and, and refer to the story or they'll want to buy a, a souvenir associated with it. So, yes, I'm in contact with the story most days and I sell um, souvenirs associated with it. So it's not a huge amount of business monetary-wise, but there's a fair amount of discussion about it um, with people that visit. Bath Gallet is marketed in a unique way in order to attract tourists to the village. The story of Gallet is no exception to this. Gift shops in the village sell what some would refer to as Gallet merchandise, even selling a DVD that dramatises the story. Businesses in the village have found a way to capitalise on the story and as such, tourists have found a way to remember their visit to Bath Gallet. We're here in Bath Gallet on this beautiful Sunday day, which means tourists are definitely going to be coming out. And we're going to find out if the story is one of the reasons they're visiting this little village. Let's go find some tourists. Why have you come to Bath Gallet today? Uh, well, we're a camera club up from uh, Cornwall. And um, we just up here for the scenery and you know, the myths and the legends of it all. To stay in the caravan and to walk. Yeah, and to walk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you both heard of the story of Gallet? Yes. Yes, we have. Yeah. Is that one of the reasons you've come here today? Uh, it is, actually. We're yep. about to go see the, <laughs> visit the grave. I've been here six, seven times. So oh. I visit the grave, yeah, yeah, on two or three occasions. So, um, yeah, it's a nice story. So yeah. you're from Northern Ireland. Yeah. Is it really interesting for you to come here and hear about the story and this mythology of Wales? Absolutely, very much so. It's a gorgeous area and it's a nice little story that goes along with the, the history <laughs> of the area. Did you hear the story before you had visited? Uh, no, Andy just uh, told a story a bit and uh, got us interested and we thought we'd have a look at the uh, grave and see the whole story. I can see the story of Gallet has definitely had an impact on tourism here. The story has reached masses of people and sometimes they don't even realise that fact. Okay, so maybe 